item number six, VA 2014-09, M&T Land Holdings, LLC. Staff, if you would please present this case. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This is a rezoning request for 0.29 acres to rezone from R10 to R6. Subject property is located at 1021 Cherokee Street. This is along the south side of Cherokee, about 375 feet east of Jerry Jones. Property is located in the transitional neighborhood character area. It's also in the residential parking overlay district. Um, it is a mixed pattern, both of zonings when you look at the broader area, um, with the commercial corridor of Bay Tree and sort of an office area on that lower end of Jerry Jones, and a residential pattern as you go back up Cherokee, uh, which is predominantly R10. However, at the eastern end of Cherokee, there is some multifamily development. Um, the applicant's property is located immediately north of the commercial property uh, that faces Bay Tree, um, and immediately east of some vacant RP properties, uh, which sort of look into the shopping center that faces Jerry Jones. And he is requesting actually the in-between category um, of R6 zoning, which allows duplexes or single family. It does not allow multifamily. So it will be two dwelling units instead of one but it's not the same as the multifamily category of 18 units per acre. Um, staff recognizes the mixture of patterns, although we do not see R6 anywhere in that area. Uh, we do recognize that it is very compatible with R10, and the only difference is the lot size component, um, but it is in between commercial and other more intensive zonings. Um, in, in our view, much more compatible with the Cherokee Street area um, than the multifamily zoning, which we're starting to see up at the eastern end. So with that, um, there's a site plan in your packet that was submitted with the request. It gives more of the impression of multifamily development, like a two-unit apartment building. And actually with duplex development, that site plan is not allowed. Um, the overlay parking district does not allow uh, more than five cars in the parking lot or a park in the front. Duplexes are exempt from many things that are treated much the same way as single family. Your typical duplex development has two driveways or one larger shared driveway, um, and this would be the same. Right before the meeting at your stations, I passed out a revised site plan that the applicant surveyor drew to be compliant with our recommended condition. And here it shows four spaces in the front, four spaces in the back. Um, the spaces in the front actually is more pavement than it could have, but actually more than it's actually supposed to have. The way to remedy that is to slide the spaces a little to the west. So as you come in on your driveway, you have spaces immediately to the left with room to back the vehicle out. And then additional parking, you could continue into the backyard, um, which is purely optional. It is not required to have this many parking spaces. Uh, again, it's duplexes, um, which resemble like two houses stuck together. I was exempt from stormwater, it's exempt from landscaping. It's intended to function like single family residential development, but in duplicate. Um, with all of that, staff is recommending approval after finding consistent with our standards for exercise of the zoning power. And we're recommending approval with the one condition, which is in addition to a single shared driveway that shall not be approved parking for more than four cars in the front yard of the building. Um, this is planned to be a rental unit. Um, and we don't want it to resemble too much like multi-panel and hold strictly to the duplex standards. Be glad to answer any questions you may have on this one. Yes, I, I just wanted to mention, you know, we're downsizing from R10 to R6, but because of the size of the lot, there's no possibility that they'll be able to put two single family houses on this lot because cool. of it's not big enough for two R6s to... Correct. It has enough area for two R6 lots, but it does not have enough frontage to be satisfied. Right. So it does, and the minimum is 9,000 square feet for a duplex. It's a little bit larger, and it does have enough land for that. And, of course, you know, it's and one lot already. Solely because R6 allows duplexes and R10 does not allow duplexes is that lot. So Correct. That's the difference between the two. All right, any other questions for the staff? Yes, Mr. Chairman, I have a question. Uh, is there a way to limit the parking for eight spaces to be to the rear of the lot? You can. You can make that a condition of approval. 
Um, the one concern is with front yard setback distance requirements, there's not an abundance of space in the back. Um, they could slide the building to just a few more feet closer as you see where the setback line is. And you could put in essence a parking lot in the backyard. Um, that is possible. Um, the way staff looked at it was to split it four and four, or at least four, which would be typical of a duplex anyway, and have that in the front, more compatible with the houses. Um, potentially with the duplex design, you could even have the main entrance of one facing the front and the entrance of the other unit facing the back. Mm -hmm. It would be another way to accommodate that. Uh, we just mentioned there's some huge trees on that small lot, and I'm just <coughs> thinking they're trying to work in and around those trees, which I think it's a good idea, but then that's, that's their call. In the, particularly in the backyard. Yeah. There's an existing house on the property now um, that is not in very good shape. They're wanting to remove that house and redevelop the property. All right. Any other questions for the staff? If not, is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in favor of this request? Are there any questions for the speaker? Is that your, your property? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. So you're trying to work around them trees? No, uh, we'd love to. Uh, <laughs> it's hard to say if we'd be able to, but I, I'm sure we'd, we'd love to. May I ask sure. one question? Are you, um, can you see the parking lot? Most of the parking, let's say six spaces to the back and only two limited to the front. Do you see that as a working solution? We like the idea of having park more of the parking in the back. I'm not sure if it will work because we have to have a, we won't have as much parking as we can. So if it will work, um, we like the idea of having parking in the back. I just don't know if it will work. I don't know if we'll be able to get six spots in the back and just two spots in the front. <coughs> Mr. Chairman, Mr. Quiet, one more question. Why so many parking spaces? Have you got something you're not going to plan on? It, this, these are four rent, and they're, right now we're, we're running our model at four bedroom duplexes. They're four. Four cars each, eight parking spots. So, for the parking. You're kind of renting them off bedroom at a time? Uh, not a better than a per unit at a time. How many bedrooms per unit? Four bedrooms. Four bedrooms, four bathrooms. Right. Any other questions for the speaker? No, we appreciate your time. Any else, anyone else in the audience would like to speak in favor of this request? Anyone in the audience would like to speak in opposition to this request? There being none, I will now close the public participation portion of this agenda item and now turn it over to the commissioner for discussion. There being no discussion, I will now take a motion from the commission. Mr. Chairman, I move we recommend approval to the commission with the conditions All right. We have a motion and a second for approval of this particular item. Is there any discussion on the motion? There being none, all those in favor of the motion, please indicate by raising your hand. All right, all those opposed? All right, the motion passes seven to two.